second and I think we're live streaming now what is up guys welcome back to Chris Cost TV and uh, the servers did go down shout out to everybody letting me know they're like hey man the servers aren't working the servers aren't working all right they went down they were back up for a second because I was like the only person live streaming and then they went back down again during my live stream if you guys saw there the live stream crashed and my shit just died but we are back all right, we're just going to redo this real quickly all over again, but it's going to be real quickly because, you know what I'm saying, we already went through some of this shit, you know what I'm saying? But we got the Paladins OB65 update. It is here for PS4, god damn it. All right, and I'm pretty sure the servers have been fixed because servers have been under maintenance three different times, and I'm pretty sure they're fixed now. All right, so real quickly, up first, um wherever it is this right here uh, just to let you guys know um, I tried to get this right here right now if you get the prime trial or the twitch prime trial free trial you get a twitch or you get a primal mount you get a twitch bomb king skin and you get 10 gold chest that's yes that's right I said it 10 gold chest see these gold chests right here you get 10 of these and five radiant chests with the bomb king collection and the primal mount for a free trial but when I clicked onto it and I signed into my twitch account it said that I needed to sign into my Amazon account to make a purchase of the twitch prime free trial so I was not able to do that so a little FYI if you guys want to get the twitch prime trial or you know free trial and get all the cool shit when you click on this thing here it's gonna ask you to sign into your twitch account and then after that it's going to ask you to make a purchase of the free trial even uh, but you have to use an Amazon account so you have to have an Amazon account to get the free trial but like I said it's a free trial and of course you could cancel afterwards or you know just use like a prepaid debit card and have no money on it so then you know when the it comes up time to you know pay the prime you don't have to pay it and you still get a bomb king collection with the bombs skin everything voice pack spray a whole collection an entire fucking mount that's brand new that's nothing like any other mount 10 gold chest and five radiant chest that is what you get right there just for the twitch prime stuff also if you notice when you log in today you get 10 radiant chest and you get 17,000 gold. Actually, I just noticed I just got an extra 1,500 gold since my last live stream five minutes ago. With the update, they hooked me up with an additional 1,500 gold. So right off the bat, you get 18,000 gold. I got five gems today and some uh, extra gold as well for daily reward or something like that. But regardless, I get 18,000 gold. So anyone that logs in right now, you get 10 radiant chest and you get 18,000 gold or 17,000 gold. And anyone that's out there that doesn't have a founder pack like me, that's perfect. You know why? Because we just got the new Moji and Friends flank champion. So even if you don't have a founder's pack, High Rise was nice enough to hook you up with a shit ton of gold. And you're able to go ahead and buy the new Moji and Friends flank, which we'll be trying to play here. But alright, so we got the update with the Twitch. Of course we have the new Moji and Friends which we'll get into here real shortly once I start playing. Uh, also I'll try to play a match too to make sure the servers are up and running because I noticed a couple people said that the servers were down just for the gameplay. You know just trying to log into a match that the servers were down for that. So we'll check that out. Of course we have a new skin available in the VIP store for Leon called the High as Fuck Elf. <laughs> or I should say High Elf. I call it High as Fuck Elf. And then, of course, we have the Lunar Chest and a Festive Chest that were updated to the game after Christmas, which kind of sucks. But we got those chests up uh, right now, available for purchase. Also, we have a new Grok skin that is in the Diamond Chest. That's just like an entire demon devilish type of skin, which we'll check out, which I haven't looked at yet. And then, of course, real quickly, let's go to the Loot Chest here. Also, another update. Um, you have to press L2 to R2 to uh, switch through chest you can't use the d-pad no more it has to be l2 to r2 and then of course real quickly um they have a new emote for uh ev here the ice skating emote and then we have abominable snowman bomb king 
which is a brand new collection and skin for the Christmas this year. All the other ones, like your uh, EV collection and whatnot, those were last year's. Um, but this is the new year of, or the new Christmas stuff here. You got Bomb King. I you see you got stuff on the back there. Bomb King reindeer. He's tied in with sticks and snow. And he got a, a little scarf around him. Candy cane. Little fuse with a jingle ball bell at the end right there. Top hat and whatnot. And then, of course, the bombs are like little ornaments. As you can see, they're red and blue ornaments with little stars on them and whatnot. And then you got, you know, the abominable snowman head right there. Which is just kind of looking at you like, what the fuck are you looking at, bitch? I'm going to fuck your ass up. But yeah, also another new update is a holographic. Uh, you'll see on a lot of weapons, like, as you can see, they're Bomb King's weapons. We'll go over to Eve's weapon. Uh, I don't know if they updated this one or not. Oh, uh, nope, they didn't update it. But all the newer weapons, like the Bomb King one here, as you can see. Um, I can't remember if Snow Cannon's new or not. Okay, yeah, Snow Cannon's new. But as you can see there, see that shine? A lot of the brand new weapons that were just updated into the game, all the brand new ones that just got in, all those ones are going to have holographic on them. So your snow cannon, your abominable snowman, they all have holographic, as you can see they're shiny, got the shininess, shiny skin. Oh look at that, I just noticed a little little snowflake on the back of the bomb right there. But everything, the red, blue, gold, it's all shining now. So they brought in the holographic or shininess to the weapons. And of course we got Makoa here because he had the new snow cannon, he also gets the snow reef and whatnot. And then of course we got the chili, we got the red nose. But here, best of blunderbust, this will show you here. Now this here is a new one, and as you can see, look at the holographic green on it in the red. See how it shines? That's a new thing that they updated to the game there. And of course they got a bunch of shit here. I really want to get like Genos gun right there. As you can see there, it shines. That white and blue right there has that shine to it. Then of course they got the Rudolph the Red Nose Cobra. And as you can see that one there shines too. The gold on his head and underneath his belly and shit and his his mouth. Ooh. And then same thing with the lunar. The lunar you can really notice. So you get more of a shine to it, even to the skins and whatnot. You get like that shine off there. Let's see if I can pull up a weapon here. Here, pull up. Pip's weapon. Celebrate Chinese New Year. But see how the gold shines and how the red shines? We never really had that before. We never had anything that shined like that. Oh, here we go. This here, you can definitely see the shine on it. With Tyra's gun. Or wait, yeah. See how you got the gold shining and whatnot? And then you got like a matte burgundy red on it. It looks like a gaudy AK, something like Pablo would have or something. It was pretty badass. Oh, I didn't even look at Victor's. I didn't even look at Victor's gun. Let me check out Victor's gun. Yo, check that out. Check out the design on there, the little waves of gold right there. That looks badass. Of course, you got the gold wolf on there. That just looks fucking sick. And of course, Drogue Goose. And then that's their collection there. We got Drogoose. We got uh, a weapon for Vivian. Um, Makoa. Victor. Tyra. Tyra has a collection. Ash gets a hat. She doesn't get a hat, uh, collection, but she gets a hat. She gets a fancy, fancy gold shiny hat. Which looks like it has like a little face on there. If you look real closely to the top, it looks like a little face right there. In the middle of it. That's kind of crazy. Alright, and then that's it. Let's open up the rest. Also, like I said, you get 10 radiant chest. I got apparently an extra 1500 gold from the last maintenance update. Also, new card setup. Yo, I got ripped off a card last one. Alright, check this out. So, my last live stream, when I opened up my first radiant chest, I got four cards. I didn't get a five. But as you can see here, there's a new visual for when the cards come out. And then you have some shit called card level up. And look, we have one of two, one of three, one of two. And that is just crazy. I got a spray for Pip, though. That's pretty cool. 
But as you can see here, we have a new card set up and a card loadout, so I'll probably have to spend all day to figure this out. Hopefully it didn't fuck up ruckus and whatnot. And apparently, it, by the looks of it, we have to get two of the same card, like Daredevil. I have one or two. I need to get another one to use that card or something, I'm guessing. This is just fucking crazy. Everything has changed. Oh my god. It's like they did a complete flip. I have a spray for fucking Ruckus? Yo, check this out. There's a spray for Ruckus. I've never seen a spray for Ruckus in my entire fucking life besides a frontline spray that you have to pay $10 for. But besides that, there hasn't been an actual personal spray for Ruckus ever. There it is right there, and we got it. We got our first spray for Ruckus. That is fucking dope. All right. Yeah, look at this shit. One of three, zero of one. Oh, my God. Well, this is probably why you get 10 free Radiant Chests is because of this. Look at this. And then it says card level up, card level up. And look at there are levels. This card, Bully, has level two. This Barrier Reef has a level five. Level four for Devastation. Cause that was got on a chase. Oh my god, this is just so crazy. Alright, so so far this is like one of the best updates I've ever seen. Cause like this update is jam-packed. This is the most jam-packed update I've ever seen from High Rise for console. For paladins. <laughs> that is crazy. So many cards, your weapon can fire 16% longer. That is oh man. Look at this shit, yo. Card level up. This is just so crazy. Holy shit. Oh, I just noticed something. Because, you know, normally when you get duplicates, right? When If you have a duplicate of a card, you get essence. Look at your top right screen there. I didn't even recognize this or notice this, but there's no essence whatsoever anymore. Essence has been removed from the game completely. We have gems, we have gold, we have VIP points. Essence is gone. That's why there's a big gap in between gems and gold. Because there's no more essence. Oh my god. This is so fucking crazy. Oh my god. Alright, oh shit. Yo, check out that spray for Grok right there. That is crazy. That's gonna look badass on some fucking on some bricks and shit. Or after a nice triple kill. That's gonna look badass. That's tight. Holy fuck. This is just crazy. What in the hell? Why are there deer? For a willow card. Funa gained 16% movement speed when out of combat. Or combat. When out of combat. We got a bunch of deer right there. That is crazy. They updated the artwork for the uh, for the cards and shit. Alright, that's all 10 of our chest that we got free. Champions, here's new Moji and friends right here. Founders pack. Unlock all future current champions. Oh no, they have Vivian at front right there. Moji. Wow, what the hell? Moji. Say that again. Moji. Moji. <laughs> Moji. Moji. And here's Moji. Just a little motherfucker. Just a little guy with a couple little dragons and just a little baby dragon. Oh, look at little baby dragon. He don't look deadly. He don't look like he'd get a panther kill. But he probably would. While the rest of the rabbit like teleport. What the fuck? fled to the forest to avoid getting involved in the war raging across the realm. Moji took it upon herself to summon the great nature spirits to defend the world. She charges into battle atop her trusty familiar Poli. Like the police? Did the Poli? Who carries her through the fray as she unleashes a Mal, what the fuck? Why you guys gotta use such fancy big words for god damn it? You know I ain't that smart. <laughs> of sorcery destruction on her enemies once the war is over and the realm has returned to its natural state. 
she hopes to return to the force and helps her people begin the healing process restoring all that we lost or was lost <laughs> alright so let's purchase a motherfucker Moji it's a Moji uh, we have emoji customizations oh shit we can get fancy customizations here let's see what this all right let's see what the plum collection looks like okay here's the plum collection for emoji that looks badass you can change the little pouch on the right there too Okay, let's look at Rose Petal. Rose Petal is green. Alright. Then, of course, the little pouch right there. I'm guessing like a healing pouch. I don't even know what the hell that is. But it changes colors. Or does it? Or no, his neck, or the... His collar changes colors right there. But then it everything changes colors with this okay and then we have a gold one for emoji which if I had enough VIP points I would get it the gold one looks really badass that looks dope <laughs> hook him up with some treats and shit which, if I'm not mistaken, that's his ultimate, too. Blink right. I'll attack the bait. I'll attack right, Blink. yippee ki yay yippee ki yay motherfucker. That was pretty cool. <laughs> that was tight. Behind us. Got any special sprays? Just emoji common spray? Okay. That's a pretty cool spray, though. Looks badass. Whoa, check this out. We have a new spray for flanks. Because this here was a... Fr uh, I remember these popping up for frontline. Now it says Slayer Spray. Oh, you go to the VIP to get this. Okay, so they got some, some fancy shit for the VIP. Whoa, what we have here. Drops emoji cards will not drop duplicates of any fully level cards. Okay, so for 7,500 coins or 10,602 VIP points, you can buy a uh, chest for your champion that only drops cards for the Pacific champion you want. And now we have four legendary cards instead of three legendary cards. This is, oh my god. My brain cannot handle all this new shit right here. Holy fucking Christ. Alright, and they already have three loadouts set for me. Also, another thing I noticed, we have an additional two loadouts that we're allowed to use. Before was the standard six, now we have eight loadouts available. And the uh, look of the loadouts are completely different now. This is crazy. All right, so your main every point one of a second deal 50 damage. So you can do 500 damage per second. In a column, every hit applies one magic mark to the victim, stack it up to 10 magic marks. Every half a second, your familiar, which is your dragons right there, fire out a magic projectile that deal 250 damage, deal more damage for every stack of magic mark on target. Okay. So if you sit there and shoot at someone, right, you shoot at them with your right, and every time you hit them, they get a magic mark. And if you hit them 10 times, they get 10 magic marks. And then if you hit them with L2, you can do a shit ton of damage. You do more damage with more stacks on them. So it's kind of like a Talus. You could sit there, you know, shoot at them, and then you could hit them with overcharge and hit them with blitz over or whatever. So it's like a combo move. All right, we have... Uh, R1 to get away quickly, L1, project around your character for two seconds. Alright, so you can project a shield around you, and then cast an arcane spell that transforms a single victim into a delicious treat. 
coming into contact with the transformed victim executes them and prevents ability based revival which is perfect against terminus so if you see terminus right up there in the middle you're like you know what i'm gonna turn him into a tree and then you hit your scamper you go really quick at him and you just basically like run at him walk through him or whatever and he becomes boom lunch meat and he can't revive he can't use his ultimate so that's the counter for terminus is moji oh my god oh and apparently now they have a new setups to where when you level up your champion instead of getting gold getting a mastery spray and you know getting radiant chest you're gonna get a moji chest every single time and this moji chest is gonna contain cards only for moji and then at 20 you get a mastery title for your champion all right so there's moji that's a new champion ruckus, ruckus. Uh, and i don't know what we're gonna do buddy i think we're fucked because <laughs> i had the same card to load out for the past eight months for you past eight months i've had the same loadout for for ruckus here and of course am i at least on the leaderboard still please don't take that away from me yet we should still have 11 days left on the leaderboards where the fuck am i all right let's try this again i was ranked like 42 43 I don't even see my fucking name anymore. That makes no sense. Alright, so apparently leaderboards are fucked up right now. Because I was up... I was no less than 54. <laughs> and I knew I moved up to 42 or something. Okay. God, I'm scared to even look at that. Fucking... Competitive shit. Festive ruckus? A festive ruckus? Okay, apparently we need to go check out the gold chest because they have festive ruckus spray. Yo, never mind. Okay, this Slayer spray is for everybody. And obtainable at VIP tier two. What the fuck is? Look at look at all these new sprays for ruckus though. Ruckus has never had a spray in his entire fucking career. Okay, he has one now. We have a spray for Ruckus. Star Slayer. Make sure there ain't no new skins or nothing for him. That is just... Oh my god. Oh my... Okay, back to loot chest. Golden chest. I'll attack the base. Alright, Steam Demon has been added. Triggerman has been added with the Triggerman's 12 gauge. Wait, hold up. I have. Oh no, I have the Kingpin's 12 gauge. That's what I have. Okay. But they added these to the gold collection here, the gold chest. We got Alicat Mave added, a bunch of emotes. You can get one of the Lunar collections in here. You can get the uh, business bomb king, Mr. Money Bomb King. You can get him now in the gold. What is this, an emo? It says a collection. Oh, holy shit. Now that's crazy looking. We got a brand new skin for Buck there, a brawler collection. And that's definitely brand new because look at the shine right there on the red. That's a brand new one. Shiba and Druxus spray. Up here. Let's see the spray. Or not. Let's not see the spray. Okay. <laughs> chrome? Chrome? You got an all chromed out sky? Yep. All chromed out sky. To go with the... Uh, Bucks new collection. Oh, that's a badass gun there for Knessa. That's dope. Got Commando Buck. We 
you got the solar eclipse up in here they added a bunch of new shit here we go here's festive sprays but they added a shit ton of shit to the gold chest because the other day there was like maybe 15 20 items in here there's probably a good 40 now I don't know why but the sprays are just not coming up what the hell here we go here's bomb king spray that looks pretty badass that looks dope there's Barrick. Ah, Barrick's building the snowman. That looks dope. Got Cassie. Of course, from my fucking goddamn bird still in the mistletoe and shit. Evie. Kurova. That's pretty cool. I, I like that one there. That was pretty tight. Knessa. Sitting on some presents. Mm. That was tight. Got a little baby Makoa sitting in a reef. Just a little baby Makoa. He's not dangerous at all. And there's Ruckus. <laughs> That's just hilarious right there. Got a little Andy right there. Got Sirius with some hot cocoa. And that's the festive ones. And then we got emotes. Hawk collection, of course. And just a bunch of random shit that got thrown in here. God, there is so much shit in here, dude. Northern Watch collection. For KSE. I thought I already had that one. I guess not. Jesus Christ, there is so much shit. Raider Pip. Snapdragon Ying. Star Glam. Stone Cut. A lot of collections. A lot of shit. God damn. Alright, so there's a bunch of shit for that. Alright. Yeah, okay, right there on sale for the gold chest. I haven't got to daily quest or nothing. Activity center is just fucking filled with shit. Alright, VIP, here we go. If I. Whoa! It says tier 2 progress. So, as a VIP member, if I earn more VIP points, I get up in tiers of VIP membership. Oh, if I get to tier 2, I get a Slayer Spray. 30,000 VIP points. Alright, so if you want, you can buy this, right? If you want to unlock the next tier, or if you just keep on playing, you can get to the next tier. I think that's how it's going, because I see right here, tier 2 progress, I'm at 133,925, I need to get 160,000. But if I want to unlock it, I gotta spend 210 gems. But 210 gems get me 30,000 VIP points, a Slayer spray, which I'm pretty sure is just a like the front lines play spray. But instead of counting how many wins you have, it counts how many kills you have. 20 radiant chest, 10,000 gold, which is going to be helpful with the new card. Seven day VIP booster or account booster. Okay. Be nice if you guys would have done this before when I bought my VIP points. Alright, Mave or the Rave Mave. That's on sale right now. Alright, Ice Walker's only 19,000. So if you want to get the Ice Walker collection, that's on sale right now. Swisher Bucker collection for Barrett. That's a good deal for two collections right there. Two collections, 19,000 a piece. That ain't too bad. Good luck. 28,000 for the High Elf collection. If you unlock Enemy VIP tier 4, you get this collection here for Cirrus, Divine Collection. Okay, whoa, that is crazy right there. Okay, let's go back to High Elf because I kind of skipped over that one. This is the new Leon here. Everything's golden, everything's shiny. 
What else we got here? Anything new? All right, those, those. Oh. Need healing. Whoa! I just got a. F Apparently, I have this collection, guys. Apparently, I have a brand new Andruxus collection. And apparently this is what I have. Impactor collection. Check out that, dude. And I have that collection. Check that out. That is badass. Oh, I can't wait to use that with the Shatter Maw. Oh, that's going to look dope. Okay, so apparently I have a, for, uh, a new uh, skin for Andruxus that I did not know about. Alright, but VIP is, I guess, back to being fixed. Here's the Star Slayer Spray. You gotta unlock at VIP Tier 2. Then we have our mount. Finally, they give us Bruce Buffer. I was trying to buy the Bruce Buffer fucking announcer pack last week. But it was locked. It was broken. Yeah, okay. So, VIP Tier 2. Membership benefits. Benefits apply during VIP. Tier 2 chat icon, whatever that means. 8% account XP, 8% gold, 3% VIP points earned, 7% discount VIP sword. Alright, so I'm at Tier 1. I get a Tier 1 chat icon. I get an impactor collection. I get a 7 day icon thing, 10 radiant chest and 5,000 gold. Okay, so that's probably why I got the 10 radiant chest then. get a VIP epic title and get the divine collection at four Enemies up the middle. and coming soon a legendary mount but it's coming soon though so you don't get it yet uh, Jesus Christ that was scary I never got any VIP points for my picks which kind of sucked but that's all right all right so that's VIP there we have tiers that we have to unlock, and I don't know how you unlock them. Alright, so let's pay attention to what we have here. 133,925. Let's pay attention to 925, or 3925. We'll play a couple matches, and let's see if that number changes. Alright, let's go to Andruxus, though. It doesn't even say there's nothing new for Andruxus. But I own this here. So here's regular Andruxus. It's a fancy regular Andruxus with the fancy Shadow Star and the Migos hat. Then we get fancy. I don't even know what the hell that says. Imperator. That looks badass. Okay. Okay, here's regular Andruxus. And then here's the impator. So it changes up the head, the back of the head. Get the gold around the head there and shit. That looks badass. And let's see the gun here. That looks pretty cool. Alright, we'll just use that as that right now. Or as our collection. Oh, really? No voice pack though. That sucks. Don't get a voice pack? Well, that shucks. That's so cool, though. All right. All right, so we got the champions down. Oh, let's go over to the legendary chest so we can check out new Grok. Brimstone. Brimstone Grok. Jesus Christ, this straight up looks like the devil right there. He looked like a demon. And notice what I'm talking about the shine. Like, look at uh, Grok's fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? Look at his shiny shit right there. His armor. It's all shiny. Even up there by like little teeth or the motherfucking necklace and shit. Everything is shiny. That just looks crazy as fuck. Chase the enemy. I'm on it. Be careful, right flank. You're welcome. Enemies up the middle. I will return. Be careful, middle. Attack up the middle. Alright, enough of attacking up the middle. <laughs> Anything else new in here? Dutchman, helos. 
Alright, obviously they added some shit in here, but you know, they're just ultra collections. They just threw it in a different box. Got Ani and shit like that. Got Sunkissed, Troublemaker, of course your Scarlet Mounts. Okay, so that covers everything right there. Let's check out our quest here. Finally, our quests are fixed. Okay, so complete daily quest and then we get a diamond chest. Alright, so champion daily quest. I need to win three games today. Real easy. Hard earned cash. Acquire a total of 25,000 credits. That's easy. Okay, never say die. Play four games as a support champion. Okay, so I gotta play four games as a support and then the rest are easy. Oh, we have special quests now too. Okay. Special quest. Oh wait, real quickly, look at our daily quest here. We get 175 VIP points and 700 gold for that one. We get 175, okay. So 175 VIP points completing any of those quests. 700 gold, 7 gems, and then another 700 gold for those. And then over here, we get legendary keys. Legendary keys, alright. Frontline support, damage, flank, and then we get a lunar chest. We get a lunar chest. We have team deathmatch right now, guys. Look at that. It says win three team deathmatch games. Oh my god, we have team deathmatch right now. They said that it was going to be next month. And that yeah, we're supposed to get team deathmatch in the beginning of February. And that we were going to get battle royale between March and April. We already got team deathmatch. And if we play it three times, we get a free lunar chest. That's what I love about High Rise. If you don't want to spend any money on the game or you just don't have any money to spend, if you just play the living shit out of this game, you're going to get a bunch of cool shit. That's the cool thing. Alright, next up we have play one game of Siege, Champion Lord or Reward. I don't even know what that is, but I want it. And then of course the Twitch Prime Quest, which like I said, you got to have a Twitch account and you have to have an Amazon account to purchase the Twitch Prime Trial. But if you do get that, you get your Twitch Bomb King skin collection, voice pack, spray, everything. A full collection for Twitch, or for Bomb King. A brand new primal mount. Ten golden chests that you see are now jam-packed with collections, emotes, festive sprays, brand new shit. So you get ten of those. And you get five radiant chests which help you out for cards for your champions. Because apparently you're going to be needing a lot of radiant chests right now. Because you're going to need to build up on your cards. Holy shit. Okay, so that's that shit right there. Alright, so we gotta play with the support. Alright, play two games as a flank champion. Play two games as a damage champion. And you get those rewards there. And then win, oh, win three team deathmatch games. Okay, alright. Oh my goodness, guys. Like I said, this is probably the best update so far. And probably the most jam-packed, biggest update so far in Paladins. Like I've never, I've never seen any OB 64, 63, any of the OBs. I've never seen any of them be this jam packed with stuff. And they're always jam packed, but I've never seen this like. Usually it take me about an hour, hour and a half. This is gonna take me all day to get through all this shit. I'm gonna be playing this game all damn day long. There is just so much to do. That's why I love Paladins, because they are the best free game ever. I don't give a fuck what anybody says out of all the free games that you can download and play for free. And I'm talking about no PS Plus, no online shit. I'm talking about downloading it and playing it for free. This is the best game right here. And this is probably one of the top games out. Like, I know everybody loves Overwatch, but goddamn. Anyone that loves Overwatch that hasn't played Paladins, play Paladins. Because you're going to fall in love with it. <laughs> like, this is just... And then non-stop updates too, like I said, besides the month and a half that we didn't get an update. You know, most games, you'd be lucky to get an update every six months. And we're complaining about a month and a half, which it, w it was kind of crappy. But even still, like, besides that, they do an update every month. They do mini updates every week. They do, you know, a good, you know, average update, you know, like fixing mechanics, fixing reload speeds and whatnot on champions and stuff like that. You know, game bugs, mechanical bugs and whatnot. They fix that shit every two weeks. Like, and they do this, like, anywhere from six months to, like, almost a year, you know, in advance. Like, Team Deathmatch, they came up with this idea last year 
in like January or like last year in March they came up with this idea and they've been working on it through the entire year just to give it to us now and to be able to do that but non-stop because every updates you know thought out six months in advance you know prior and just be able to lay out update after update like this like you got to give big props to high rest all right I, I spend you know I don't spend money on games but when I do I spend it on paladins this is the only game I've ever spent money on like truly spent money on went and bought shit like Grand Theft Auto I ain't buying no shark cards Call of Duty I'm not buying expansion packs Paladins I'm buying VIP packs I'm buying VIP five, uh, five day memberships or the 14 day membership you know I'm buying realm packs and shit like that buying gems you know I'm, I will gladly spend my money on this game because they produce a great game for free which is badass but let me grab a cigarette and then apparently we're gonna get into some gameplay finally we're gonna try out team deathmatch we're gonna play siege and all sorts of shit we're gonna try to use moji and whatnot our new champion try to figure out our new card loadouts because we got to build those up I need a cigarette I'll be back in 30 seconds Holy crap. Holy shit. God damn. I think the only game I've had this much fun on was Black Ops 2 and Grand Theft Auto. That's it. Mainly Black Ops 2. Because that game was addicting. That game was just... Alright. So... We gotta remember that we gotta do two front line, two support, two damage, two flank. Um, all right, apparently we're gonna have to play four matches as a support, play four games as a support, which two will cover this uh, reward here, and then another two will cover that one. So four, and then we gotta win three team death match games and play a match of siege. Alright, and then of course, when we complete the daily quest, I will add up for the champion quest. And three quests a day, 10 days, 30 quests, then three, six. So, every 14 days or every two weeks, if you do your daily quest every day for two weeks, you will get a diamond chest here. So every month you can get two diamond chests. And those are five dollar diamond chests. Like it costs five bucks to get. Actually, it's eight bucks because eight dollars you get four hundred gems. And that collection or that diamond box right there costs three hundred gems. So that's a six dollar box right there. You get free every two weeks by just logging in and playing a couple games. Like, are you serious? A six dollar chest every two weeks for free by just logging in and playing the game for about an hour. If that, like, that is fucking awesome. Okay, so holy shit, man. There is so much shit, and we have, let's get into the plane. Let's, all right, we covered everything. Let's check out the store real quick. Make sure we haven't missed nothing. I know, like I said, Bomb King was new. The Lunar Chest was new. Also, we get a new Lunar Chest. Let me check out the Daily Quest. Because we get a Lunar Chest if we, uh, all right, okay, three team death match. That's what it was, okay. Holy shit, okay. We got new visuals at the bottom here. Never say die. It puts our daily quest right down here too for us. That is very useful. Thank you, High Rise, for doing that. I like that. 
I do like that update. They put, or as you're going in here for, oh, and they switch that up. Now that says arcade. This says arcade, new mode. And then we have sieged by itself. Where's competitive? Where did competitive go? What is going on here? But okay, like I said, I like this right here where it lets you know, hey, hard earned cash, you know, it lets you know your daily quest. Okay, click on arcade. Here we go. Unbound Siege. Onslaught Team Deathmatch. So what's Unbound Siege? Because as you guys remember before, we had Siege, right? We had Onslaught in the middle where Team Deathmatch is. And then where Onslaught was, we had Push the Payload. Which I really like that game mode. But like I said, you know, a couple weeks ago, like a lot of people don't play it anymore. Well, now that's gone. I mean, this here says capture the objective and then push the payload. So, yeah, that's just regular siege. They put a new name on it called Unbound Siege. You have Team Deathmatch and we have Onslaught. All right. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we have Unbound Siege, Classic Siege. Okay, I don't understand this here. So, apparently, Unbound Siege and Classic Siege, the two difference is one has your cards, new card loadout, and I guess in Classic Siege, because it says play Siege with restricted card levels. I don't understand this here. And there's competitive right there. Diamond Rank 2, number 10. I got the Diamond Rank 2? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. Okay. This here will be updated in 12 days. We'll have all new shit for this here, which is going to be awesome. I can't wait for that. Uh, this is missing here, so I'm guessing they still got to do a couple little updates here. Whoa, check that out, yo. Well, there's a new visual update. They got all the things right there. It's like gold or qualifying, silver, gold, all that good shit. All the way up to Grandmaster. That is crazy. If you have fucking epilepsy or anything, man, don't be looking at that. <laughs> Alright, so holy shit. Alright, so we have arcade and shit. Oh my god, okay. Um, I'm gonna try a siege real quick. Let's just try siege, okay guys? Don't don't kill me, but I'm gonna try siege real quick. I just wanna see what the fuck it's about. If it will let me, what is going on here? work uh, apparently the shit's frozen I don't know what's going on here I'm clicking next what is going on here uh, I guess the fucking shit isn't up yet I, I, I don't know if they're working on servers still with that. I don't know what is going on here, man. All right, but that's basically so far the gist of the update right there. We got VIP tiers. Okay, it says collect 26,075 VIP points to unlock to the... To unlock that right there so with every match you play you get VIP points whether you win or lose right and then the more you collect the higher tier you go and what you collect up to 160 you go to tier 2 I don't know how much you need for tier 1 all right you need 80 you need to collect 80,000 VIP points for tier 1 once you do that you get into tier 1 you get 2% more gold 2% more VIP points, a 5% discount at the VIP store. Okay, so that's why I have a discount. And then you get extra XP, character mastery. Supposedly I get a 7 day uh, booster, so I'm about to check that. Okay. Alright, so let's back out for a second. Because by the looks of it, they're still trying to update the game. Which is understandable. There's just so much shit in here. Oh, error occur. Hold on, guys. I'll be back in a second. It's go.